In Ottawa, a debate is underway on how to balance the right to privacy with the need to stop cyber bullies. New legislation is being developed in Ottawa, and today the parents of three teenagers who took their own lives after being bullied made some emotional pleas. As Vashi Capellos reports, they're united in their demand for action, but don't agree on how best to achieve it. Canadian teenagers Jamie Hubley and Amanda Todd committed suicide after being bullied online. Everyone in this room has a story to tell about bullies. Appearing before a government committee, their parents stood united in the fight against cyberbullying, but divided on the government's legislation aimed at stopping it. I am concerned about some of the other unrelated provisions that have been added to the bill. Bill C-13 includes measures to prevent online bullying and track bullies, but it also has provisions that deal with how police get your information, essentially giving them easier access to internet and phone company databases and lowering the threshold for a warrant. We should not have to sacrifice our children's privacy rights to make them safe. But Glenn Canning, whose daughter committed suicide after being bullied online, says he doesn't want to see anything stop the bill from being passed. We're talking about privacy and our children are, are using um, social media to torment each other to death so that they can have likes and thumbs up on Facebook. It, it, it to me is uh, you're looking at the worst of two evils here. You know, my concern is for kids. Since C-13 was introduced last fall, the opposition has accused the government of using the fight against cyberbullying as an excuse to increase police powers, something conservatives deny. Our purpose is to prevent harm. And, uh, and we believe that all of these provisions are necessary. To avoid a stalemate, Carol Todd suggests separating the cyberbullying portion of the bill so it can pass. But even if that doesn't happen, Todd's so desperate to see action taken, she's willing to back down if she has to. I want it passed. I don't want to wait any longer. Justice Minister Peter McKay says while he has great respect for Carol Todd, the bill will remain as is. The extra police powers, he says, are needed to properly investigate and save lives. Vashi Capellos, Global News, Ottawa. Bullying doesn't just happen online. Of course, it happens, among other places, on school buses, too. You can find out the strategies some schools are using to combat it on our website.